over six figures is just get out of here. Wait a minute. That's that Zadir guy. Who are those guys with him? I don't know, but if they're with Zadir, they have got to be worth something. Great. Let's work. In the kitchen that ascended from beyond the depths of hell, restless souls experience the creations of those who embody madness. Sitting atop his throne, the shepherd of the cauldron summons those to see if their dishes are worthy of ascension. The only question now is, who should I challenge? I'm the CEO of Chairbugs. And my restaurant experience is about two years in an Asian fusion restaurant. And I also invented the KFC Double Down. You may know me from such hit singles such as License to Till. From my hit band Suffering from Asperger's. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty ready to make some dank food hacked chopped Dollar Tree version YouTube. So YouTube, I'm Homeboy Cheddar from the Seventh Circle of Hell. <coughs> <coughs> I'm here to talk about my restaurant experience. I used to work at Burger King for like one year. And what I used to do for experience is, like, take out the garbage and mop the floors and stuff. But then what I would also do is all, like, the Whopper patties that would come out of the burner. I would just grab them and disappear into, like, my lair, which was called Downstairs. And I used to eat Whopper patties, zesty sauce, and croutons. Which is actually a true story about how my health took a turn for the worse before wrestling. But the thing to remember is my era of my restaurant experience was during the Mac and Cheetos area era at uh, Burger King. And uh, I got fired from that job because I was too fucking goth to work there. But like, I'm like all good now and stuff and like super successful. So like, I'm going to win this competition Yes. What up, YouTube? And now someone named Should I Series, he's been calling me out on YouTube. Yeah. And he's saying that we're not good chefs. And he's acting like he's the best boglum chef there is. Yes. So you want to challenge us to some video? And honestly, we don't even need to do it. We already know we're goth. So. Yeah. Yes, bring it on, should I, series? Yeah. Yeah. On today's episode of Should I Challenge, I'm challenging CEO of Chairbugs and Homeboy Cheddar. So underneath this pot, we got the mystery ingredients. So let's open it up and see what hell we got today. Aw, shit. We got ketchup. We got E&J peach brandy. We got hot dogs. And we have mayonnaise. So me and Homeboy Cheddar, we wanted to throw a wrench in his plans. We each got to pick two ingredients. He picked mayo and hot dogs. So we knew that the two ingredients we picked, he wouldn't be able to work with. Which was E&G's and mustard. Yes! I'll drink to that, you two. Cigarette. Now, they have two of those fuckers, and... I have to figure out who the hell is going to help me. I have nobody else who can help me out, so I'm going to have to use the brain, both my left and right brain this time to outcook them today. So let me go grab some stuff and I'll get ready for my idea. All right, so I ran around the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some kosher salt, a little bit of ground white pepper, uh, obviously the ketchup, the ENJ peach brandy, the mayonnaise, and these uh, hot dogs I'm going to use. I got the colossal quarter pound beef franks because I want the really long ones for what I'm using. Now I got some mozzarella cheese here. Now I couldn't find uh, Lucrane cheese. I guess there's a war going on so it was a little hard to get that imported to me so uh, when that gets imported over here to PA maybe I'll buy some. But I thought 
if I uh, take two dummies like Homeboy Cheddar and Jack Scalfani and you put them together, I wonder if the cheese would be any good. Obviously, we need some country crock with this. I'm gonna have a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna use both crescent dough sheet and pizza crust Pillsbury dough. Uh, we got some potatoes for me, some ranch, and a little bit of minced garlic, and then obviously some bacon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this pot of uh, water start boiling up. So let's get that fucking going. There we go. Get that right on there. There we go. Fucker is hot. We'll get this water going up. We'll put a little bit of salt in here. Now what we're gonna do, what I plan on doing with the water is uh, I'm gonna make some of the, God, I got so much salt and I can't get it back in there. Fuck it. Is I'm gonna make some uh, golden fried french fries with that water. And what I'm gonna do with the, uh, with the hot dogs, I'm gonna turn this on too. I think I'm gonna go 350, should be good for this. So here it heating up in there. Great, we should be good. What I'm gonna do with the hot dogs is I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna wrap them in this pizza crust and the dough sheet, and I'm gonna top them with the mozzarella cheese, bake them, and I'm gonna make this nice mayo chup. But I gotta have something to go with it. So I'm gonna golden fry up some potatoes, I'm gonna put the ranch, the garlic, uh, some mustard and the brandy in there and then we're gonna top it with bacon later too and it'll be also beautiful so I gotta rush around the kitchen here and get all this together so we gotta open up this first god damn it come on there we go Probably gonna grab some spray. Now I gotta wonder what those two dummies are doing on their end. We drank a lot of ENG as you too, but it's what it is. That's what we're cooking. So honestly, I'm not really feeling it today. I've been cutting back on my drinking. And honestly, I'm just feeling kind of down. And then hot dogs. Mmm. <laughs> so we're going to make a hot dog lasagna. It's going to be busted on YouTube. It's very avant-garde. We also have some beryllium lasagna. We also got some Serengeto cheese. So we're going to make a cheese sauce to put in between these layers, YouTube. And for a side dish, we're gonna have some nice expired glazed carrots. Yeah. I can see you. So first things first, YouTube, we're gonna make a roux for the cheese sauce. It's very avant-garde. Your homeboy cheddar's gonna assist with that. He's chowing down some pizza. Uh, we're gonna put that on low heat YouTube. Just got this butter melting YouTube. It's almost ready for some flour for the roux. And we're gonna deglaze the roux with ENJ's peach. Oh, yes. Look at a nice roux, YouTube. Yes. So we got the roux, nice blonde roux, YouTube. Starting to cook, we're gonna let it thicken a little bit more. I'm gonna deglaze it with a nice Angie's peach brandy. Uh. Yes. So. 
we're gonna put some slap your mama seasoning in because that's like good stuff. Yeah. Yes. It's a nice Cajun flavor for the hot dog lasagna. So we're gonna add some ENJ's down deglaze this roux YouTube. Congealing nicely. I'm gonna taste a spoonful of this. <laughs> Tastes like peach collar. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. This roll Whoa. of pizza dough is not gonna be working for me. Yep. I gotta go get my knife. Oh, this is the crescent dough sheet first. <laughs> Probably turn that down a little bit. Put this lid on there. We're going to wait until it bubbles up a little bit, but we're going to add some of this to it right now. And we're going to add a spoonful of mayonnaise to that shit. And do I have something to stir it with? Yeah, I can stir it with one of those. Forgot this was the crescent dough sheet, not the pizza sheet. So I'll take care of that in a minute. Want to flavor up the water. So we'll do a little bit of this in there. Perfect. We'll save this for later. We're gonna need it. Need those and a little bit of this in there. A little bit of this. We want this, these uh, french fries to be nice and flavorful. Shake this up. Oh, there we go. Let me give this a quick stir. Starting to get a little bit hot. Need a little bit of this, and what else did I want in there? Oh yeah, I need the brandy in there too. Where'd that fucking thing go? Here it is. Mmm, smells good. There, that should give that that some nice flavor. Close that off. Move this out of the way so it doesn't burn up. And now we're gonna make these. So I gotta also open the pizza dough. Where the hell is my pizza dough? All right, I found my pizza dough. There. Nice. So we'll do a couple. Let's see if I can do probably just one of these hot dogs in this. We'll do a little bottom layer of this cheddar jack cheese put one of these hot dogs on here roll it and we'll give it a cut we'll tighten it right up Cookie sheet dough was not a uh, good idea. Hopefully the pizza one works out a little bit better. The shit is just breaking apart. We're gonna put holes and stuff in it anyway, so it's not a big deal if it's not uh, completely together. Should be good for that one. We'll make one more. Yeah, this shit sucks. I'm not using a second one of that. Ooh, we're bubbling in there. Mm. Give this a little stir here. 
You can smell the alcohol coming right off of this bad boy. So we'll let that sit for a second while we're finishing up this. Get rid of these. And we'll use the, uh, the pizza dough. This should be a lot better with the pizza dough. All right, we'll put a little bit of the Cheddar Jack down. This here. Give it a cut. I don't, why am I using the knife when I have fucking pizza slicers over here? Could be using that instead. Right over the top of it there we go cut this cut this so now if you're wondering where I got this idea from so the uh, Koreans when they're not busy playing Starcraft uh, make these weird hot dog things obviously they do it different than this but uh, I thought it looked really good and I thought I would uh, use this in a competition style so it will be great for me now I wonder what those two are doing so we got the roux, it congealed nicely with the ENGs. We're gonna add some milk. We're making a bogamel sauce. Put about a cup YouTube. We're gonna add cheese to this later. Yes. <laughs> so now YouTube, we're gonna put the Serengeto cheese. Extra sharp cheddar. Fuck sicko. I hate sickos more than Lavazzi. We're gonna try to open this E2, it might take a while. Oh yeah. So it's gonna slowly add a couple pieces of cheese. Yes, please. I'm gonna crank the heat a little more on this E2. Oh yes. Keep slowly adding cheese slices. Let's make a nice creamy cheddar sauce. <laughs> yeah. My sauce. <laughs> We're gonna let it melt before we add any more YouTube. Well YouTube, you can see it starting to thicken. So we got four more slices. Of the sacred cheddar cheese. Oh, yes. It's good Sargento. It's Sargento troll. <laughs> We're gonna put some mustard in the cheese, YouTube. Just a little dash. Give a little zing. I also got some mozzarella. I'm gonna put a little handful there. Else. Just a dash of mozzarella. Do that nice stringy. That's good, YouTube. Look at that cheese sauce. It smells like popcorn. Perfect for any nacho. Perfect consistency. Oh, We're gonna put Diablo sauce in it. Yeah. From, from one of our Taco Bell DoorDash orders, YouTube. Oh, yes. I think that'll even out the flavors a little bit. Okay, this definitely fits a bit better than this uh, half sheet tray. So we'll use this. All right, so we want to make a little bit of cuts through these. Do one more cut. There we go. And we want to tip top the shit out of it with some of this Country crack butter first. So we get a nice coating on here. So we want this to be oh so buttery smooth. Now you just grab a handful of it and just lather the top of this really, really nice. 
I'm gonna leave some of this in here. There we go. Now if you want, take a bite of it. Mm. Good old butter. Good old country crack, can't go wrong. All right, so what we gotta do is now we have to top it with the mozzarella cheese. I want to take a nice handful of mozzarella and we'll put it way over the top. And you want to do this really, really nicely. I want to do this thick. We want this fucker to be cheesy. There we go. Now we're going to put this in the oven here. I got it at, what, like 375? Yeah. No, I got it at 350. So we're going to keep it at 350. We're going to try it for like five minutes and we'll see what happens. Let's put her in. Now we got to get those uh, french fries going. So we need to get our potatoes cut up. First we got to wash them and then cut them right up. Ah, the majestic beauty of washing your own potatoes. Nothing else like it. Now you want to save a little bit of dirt on this because we are the grease wizards. We want to have this shit nice and greasy. There, that should be good. Dry them off. Bring them over this cutting board here. We want to make some really, 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 really nice french fries out of this. So cut it in half. We're going to do... How do I want to do the french fries? I think I'll cut it in half one more time. Do some nice wedges with them. Now, I have the help of God on my side while I'm making this. Maybe a uh, homeboy cheddar and... CEO have fucking uh, Satan on their side, but I have the more powerful magic So we'll see what they're making So first step we're gonna put some of this cheese as the sauce layer on the bottom of this lasagna Just spoon here to assist That's good cheddar Let's Spread this around evenly No, this might stick horrendously into <laughs> So now I'm going to add a layer of this lasagna noodles, YouTube. Try to see the best way to do this. Think like this. Now these ones you don't have to boil. Which, when you're goth, you need easier things. And if you're mildly autistic. With severe alcoholism and crippling depression. There's the first layer of YouTube. Now we gotta put some dogs in it. So we're gonna make a homemade gothic ricana YouTube using mayo. This is the mm -hmm. last ingredient we've used every ingredient YouTube. A nice healthy dose of mayonnaise. We're gonna add some mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna give it a little stir with my fingies. This would make fake ricotta YouTube. Pretty much the same thing, same essentially. It's chunky, delicious, cheesy. We're gonna put a layer of this down before the hot dogs actually. See, same thing, YouTube. Same Grow as Ricana. That's what you do in a traditional lasagna. You put blobs of Ricana, YouTube. Mm. That's good for the first layer. Yes. Now we're going to put a layer of hot dogs. You can just leave them whole, Cheddar. Cheddar's going to put the glizzies in the pan. 
Gothic Glizzies. That one eat half eaten. We <laughs> get a tight layer of hot dogs. We thought about smoking these using mustard as a binder. But for an average Gothic family, that's just too much time, you team. Are we almost on hot dogs? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got. We could only get one layer of hot dogs, YouTube. It is what it is. Be a nice meaty center. Dump some more cheese sauce. Get two more this way, Cheddar. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a scoopful of his cheese on <laughs> YouTube. Cheddar got a little carried away with the cheese. Yeah. That is his I name. Can't hold it back. You can't blame the man, it's his name. Once the cheese cheddars, it's cheese. We'll use this on the top layer. <laughs> YouTube, that's enough. We got another layer of lasagna noodles, YouTube. It is lasagna after all. Yes. Get the rest of this mayo mixture, YouTube. Too. Oh yes. We're gonna put the rest of this cheese on YouTube. Oh yes. Cheesy yes, please. Waste not waste yes. Spread around this cheese. We got about room for one more layer of lasagna. Noodles. There. Don't miss any cheese. I'll make sure you have a thick layer on top so it doesn't cook. <laughs> now I'm worried these uh, noodles will be a little dry, so I'm gonna put a little put a little Colorado Kool-Aid on there, YouTube. Just enough to wet in the noodles. Add a nice seasoned flavor. I'm gonna sprinkle some Tony's seasoning. It's not Tony's, it's Slappy Mama, but same difference. Then for the final, I'm gonna put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. More seasoning. Oh, yes. Now we're going to put the oven on 420, YouTube. Because that's what Dark Lord Cobra always does. We're going to put this puppy in. I'm going to put it on a tray in case it overflows. I'd like to see should I come up with something like this. All right, so I'm gonna add my potatoes to my uh, golden fry mixture. 
turn it back up. Give it a little stir here. Can't forget the most important parts of a Cobra meal, which is we have to have some of the bacon on this baby. So we'll get a little bit of bacon going. Let's check how it's looking. Oh yeah, that needs a while still. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump that up to 400. So that can melt really good. I'm going to need quite a bit on that. Uh, well, that's going. I'm also going to add a splash of garlic to it. To really get that flavor profile that we're looking for. Where are all my fucking spoons? There we go. Here's a spoon. Add a little bit of garlic in there. Yeah, buddy. Stir these around. We need to make a classic mayo chup. So we're gonna need, not the garlic, I need this. So we need this and the ketchup. We should have that still from the mayonnaise, which I do great. So we need a heaping spoonful of mayonnaise. We'll go a little bit heavier. And we're gonna need a heaping course of ketchup on here. Now, if you have the uh, small things of ketchup, that'll be great, but we want quite a bit of ketchup in here. Take our mixture, mix it around a little bit. Where is the most important ingredient? We'll put a little bit of white powder in here too. There we go. Now we want to add a little bit of this mustard to our may mayo chup, just a tiny drop. Come on. Ah, fuck it, the mustard won't come out. We'll work on that later. Mix this around. Where's my tool I just got? Here it is. We don't want our potatoes sticking to the bottom here. Okay, this looks great and we gotta make one more mixture. I wanted to make a ranch and mustard mixture. Which I don't have the other seasonings to make it. So a little bit of ranch. Some of this mustard. Get a fork to mix this around with. And I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. Well, technically it's just gonna be mild sauce, but I wish I had a bigger pan for this. Why did I use the small one for this one? Let me get a little bit of our mild sauce in there for a hint of spice. And we're gonna take a little bit of garlic butter and also put in there. Just a little hint of this. Ah, yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Let's check on this. Give this another stir. Bacon looks good. Shit down here smells pretty good. We're getting there, it's gonna be a while. Probably should have put it up at the top so it gets better, but. Actually, I can probably move the rack now. So I wanted it to be crispy. I should have used our pizza oven instead, but you know how it is. And honestly, YouTube, it's kind of pathetic that he green screens his whole place. He doesn't even have a kitchen, YouTube. He's you probably know, more pathetic than my drinking. Seriously, yes. Yeah, I should have fired up the pizza oven for that. That was my stupidity. That's going to be a bit longer than I thought. Oh, well, uh, I won't lose to CEO. I won't lose to CEO at all. As some of my YouTube trolls say I don't clean my house. I'm going to prove them wrong right now. <laughs> No 
I'm gonna make some glazed carrots YouTube. Nice hits. this off camera so to make some glazed carrots YouTube got some butter some carrots I'm gonna get some honey so it's be mead carrots and E and G's yeah ENG's YouTube. To finish the rest. I'm gonna reduce the ENG's for a little honey and tea. Decided I'm gonna fire up the pizza oven, so I got that going right now. Cause I forgot this fucking stove won't brown nothing at all, but I know that pizza oven will. So we'll take this and we'll throw this right in there. It's actually coming out looking all right, but once this gets up to temp, I think I can brown the top of this really, 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 really good. I'm about there actually. I'm almost there with these potatoes. So that makes me very happy. All right, I'm gonna call it on these. I'm gonna take that pot over. I'm gonna strain the goodness out of here and get our french fries out of this uh, delicious concoction. Just a little shake. And to finish this off, we need this bacon grease here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rest of this right into this pan. Get a little flame going first. Great. We'll mix this in with our bacon bits. That way we have a little bit of grease with it. We gotta be careful. We don't wanna have any of these uh, french fries break apart on us. And we always wanna season our uh, french fries. So a little bit of salt on here. Now we'll be perfect. All right, uh, I just missed the 420 mark. So the real meme is I wanted to use this to start with, but I was too retarded to uh, get this up and running. I thought I could use the other stove over there. So I hope the viewers don't dock me any points for that. So I'm getting almost ready. I'm gonna start plating up here as soon as I see how these come out. I should have kept the bacon on the side so I could put it on the top. I wasn't thinking. I haven't been thinking too well lately, tubes. I just wanna gobble down food. I could have topped it nicely with the bacon. All right, I'm gonna put a nice heaping of our mustard ranch on the top of this. Shit, it covered some of it. Whatever. Put a little heaping on this one. Perfect, it is the absolute greatest fine dining experience as soon as this comes out. Yeah, this is perfect. This is what I wanted to see. All right, so we gotta plate these up by doing one thing. So separate, oh shit, that one came apart. Yep. 
gonna be really, really, really hot. Let's put one on, ah, fuck. That one came apart too. That should be the uh, crescent roll one. So we'll do one crescent roll here. Fuck, that's hot. Should have got bigger plates, Jesus Christ. All right, now we gotta do, ah, fuck. We gotta put our house-made mayo chup right on the top of these. Don't be shy with the mayo chup. You can't go wrong. There we go. Coat a little bit more. I gotta put some of this right on there too. So there you have it. There's the hot dog lasagna YouTube and the E&J carrots. We're gonna get these plated up. What do you think, Homeboy Cheddar? Oh, I think yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got this basil plant YouTube. I'm gonna take a couple leaves for a festive flavor. I'm trying to pick these. So. Need some for Homeboy Cheddar. Yes. We have it, YouTube. Hot dog lasagna and ENG carrots. We're gonna give this a taste test. Now here's our dishes. I uh, the pizza oven's still on, so I moved back in the corner with the dough making area. So hopefully you can see me in the mirror here. But I got my hot dog, cheesy hot dog with mayo chup and a mustard ranch sauce with my side of fries with bacon and the mustard sauce on it. So here's what you guys need to do. Uh, in the comments section, vote who has the best dish based on creativity and artistic style, or autistic style, I guess, would be the uh, appropriate word. And who's you like the most? And the winner will have will have the loser face a uh, a bad challenge. Uh, CEO has a challenge for me, but we'll see if he's the one that loses or not. And we'll crown whoever wins the king of the challenge. But I'm gonna give Hello, this a taste. Friend. You know what? I'm just gonna go gonna in, this. hands blazing. Lasagna I think uh, I can't remember which one was the croissant. So this should Griffith. be the croissant. That's the only way to test the lasagna. Oh yeah, croissant dough tastes really good. <laughs> <That's hot. laughs> okay, here we go. Oh wow! Mm. <laughs> it's a culmination of everything. Yeah. Mm. That mayonnaise, the mayo chup definitely comes out the most. I'm not a fan of it with the uh, with the croissant dough too much. But well, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. So right off the bat, you two be taste that nice peach flavor. It's nothing but a big brick of cheese, it's a obviously. Off putting at first, but it's nice glizzy. I'll taste mm. the. Uh, it's very good. The cheddar jack inside too much, but I definitely taste the mayonnaise. Some glazy and shit peach it's really good. Let me try one of the pizza ones. This one looks really good. See that cheesy action, you two? Mm. The pizza dough is far better. The, the butter works better with this one. The peach. Let me try my uh, french fries. Obviously, you need a side of french fries with hot dogs. Mm. Delicious. Memes aside, this is actually really, really good. What's your verdict? See how the french fries are. It's pretty good. I taste the cheese, the hot dog, and most importantly, the peach. Kind of nasty. I mean, they're just potatoes boiled up pretty much. Pudding. I don't taste the uh, <laughs> but it's good. 
the other garbage with them, so that's actually you know, good. It has that meat I taste the um, mm. mustard Indeed. ranch dressing on them, obviously. Pretty but I have to. Uh, kind of, I'll have to of. say you'll probably have to take a few points off because no, I didn't have any of the E and J W brandy. Like I can't taste it really good. Kind of glizzy. Yeah, let me go get a shot of it. Fully celebrate my win. I'm gonna have a shot of mm. E and J peach with this. Mm. Well, there it is. Cheers, you YouTube. YouTube, and good luck to the Vote winner. For who wins is probably gonna be us. So yeah. Yeah. Long live Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.